Hey, what's up everyone? NY Rooms here with uh, a new wax video, actually. Uh, the Topps MLB Series 1 uh, pack drop was today. This is the first ever um, MLB NFTs, uh, thanks to Topps. I wanted to get in on that because, you know, I grew up collecting baseball cards, basketball cards. Um, kind of got back into it a few years ago. Uh, but before the pandemic hit and it became very difficult to get cards and then of course Top Shot exploded and I uh, got a lot of interest into the digital side of things but um, yeah it's a it's a little interesting that they decided to work with wax here because wax is I, I don't know how to say it I mean it has a lot of issues <laughs> It is nowhere near as user-friendly as Top Shot. Um, it's a bit rough around the edges, and I had a feeling that today's pack drop would be pretty rough as well. And yeah, they ended up having to delay it by a half hour, um, and then a bunch of purchases were were uh, not going through. Like for myself, for example, I tried to pick up a few of the Premier packs. Um, which let's go down here premium packs I should say uh, those ones were going for a hundred dollars each but it had 45 cards inside um, I tried to get some of those and I got charged on my credit card never got a receipt never saw them show up in my inventory and then an hour later I got refunded so that was a pretty big disappointment um, I also had some orders for these standard packs uh, same issue, I got charged, they didn't show up in my inventory, and then I got refunded. Uh, only one of my orders actually went through, uh, and that was for the standard packs. I ended up getting 10 of those, which was the max that you could get at a time. Uh, these were $5 each, which, interestingly enough, they are reselling for, uh, when I started this video, it was at least $30 a pack on the market which is just crazy. I mean, that's 6x right there. Um, so if you really wanted to just take a guaranteed profit, you could just buy these packs, put them up on the marketplace the same day, or hold them and sell them for even more down the line uh, for instant profit. But, I mean, what's the fun in that for me? Like, I, I could do that, but I really like to just rip packs. It gives me some more content for this a uh, little channel I've got going on, uh, and plus it's just fun to to rip packs, whether they are physical or digital. Um, Top Shot's been pretty quiet lately. I do have a Top Shot video I need to share when I open up uh, a base pack, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what we've got from Tops. So yeah, I have ten of these, uh, which are the standard packs. I also have this. Uh, promo pack, which is should be just a wooden coin or some kind of coin, uh, which I don't know the point of these, but I guess let's let's do that first and see. I, I opened up the first one already, and I got the the wooden coin, which is a 79% chance. So yeah, I guess there's let's see what happens. Maybe we get that one percent. I I don't know what those are selling for. Uh, if anyone's even interested in this kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, let's I'll do always sign here. Let's take a look, I guess, as a little warm up. So, <laughs> so they've got this. Uh, oh boy, that's pretty rough. Uh, that was uh, an animation, I guess, and we got a bronze coin, super rare. Um, I did see one of my friends got got uh, the same thing today. He pulled a bronze. I, I saw I was going for like a couple bucks on the market. So, hey, that's two dollars I didn't have before I started this, I guess. So, um, yeah, let's see. Okay, open more. All right, so let's do the first pack. Even though this is. Uh, kind of an odd uh, odd setup here. I am kind of excited to open these just because it's baseball. I love baseball. Um, 
again, the, the pack opening presentation is not the best. I mean, it just has a really terrible animation, and then it just throws the cards at you. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So we've got, uh, let's see, nothing too exciting. We've got a Luis Patino rookie, which is also the uncommon. That's nice. Uh, another rookie, Kbert Ruiz. Actually, I'm not familiar with him, but um, yeah, this one kind of uh, so-so pack. Nothing too exciting there. Let's try another one. So basically, yeah, we got 78% chance of common, 16 uh, uncommon. Getting anything from the rare, super rare, or epic would be obviously the big highlight here. Uh, since this is a standard pack, you can't actually get a legendary, which is a bummer. Uh, those are only in the premiums, but, you know, it is what it is. So other than those, we'll be looking for rookies. Uh, Mike Trout, anything Trout would be great. Instant Profit. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. would be great. Uh, I don't know what they have for inserts, but we could look for those too. Brad Hand, Josh Harrison, an Oliver Perez, Uncommon, a Max Stassi Rare. Well, there we go. There's a, there's a Rare. Not a top-tier player or anything, but... That's a pretty nice hit right there. And a max Muncy. So that's not bad. Uh, what was the percent on that again? 4% for a rare. So that's, that's already pretty good. All right, so we're two packs in. And what happened? Ah, here we go. So we got a Clayton Kershaw, uh, which is also a World Series card. I don't know if that really means too much um, in terms of value, but that's cool. Jack Flaherty, a Brandon Workman, uncommon. Uh, Shun Yamaguchi, a Joey Bart rookie. That's nice. And a Bobby Delbeck rookie. So that one wasn't, that was not bad. Uh, Kershaw, a couple rookies. Let's see what we got in the next one. Okay, so you actually have to hit play for that, and then it just throws it to you. Liam Hendricks, hands up, masks up. Alright, that's kind of fun. Orion Mountcastle, uncommon rookie. Very nice. Sean Doolittle, Luke Voigt, Austin Hayes. One thing that's kind of a bummer is you can't click on your cards directly from here. It'd be nice if you could just click it, it'd give you a little pop-up where you can look at the back of it, um, maybe see some other information about the NFT itself. Uh, but I guess, you know, you gotta go to the marketplace to actually look at that. Yeah, let's click it again, why not? All right, Ryan Castellini, rookie. Aluri Garcia, Lewis Brinson, uh, Nelson Cruz. There's an Oliver Perez common. I think we got the uncommon of him earlier, and another Brad Hand. All right, that one wasn't very exciting. Uh, for me personally, I would love to get any Tigers or Cubs. Those are my two teams. Um, just to have them as uh, collectibles would be pretty cool. A playful bout of juniors. Stars Channel Inner Boxer. <laughs> All right. It's kind of fun. Uh, Caleb Smith, David Dahl, Uncommon. Oh, here's another rare. Caleb Smith. We got a Kyle Lewis Super Rare. Oh, wow. And a Dylan Carlson Rookie. This is a really nice pack. We got an uncommon. Uh, <laughs> we got the Caleb Smith common with the rare version. And then a Kyle Lewis super rare uh, in the Carlson rookie. That's really nice. What, what was the percentage on that? It was uh, like, what, 2% or something? 
I don't know what's so special about it in terms of aesthetics. I see a little bit of a, a glimmer here, but uh, yeah, I don't... Other than that, I, there's not much to differentiate, which is kind of surprising. Let's look at that percentage. Yeah, 0 0.83 super rare collectibles. I mean, that's... That's a pretty crazy odds to pull that. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to look at it um, in, in my inventory and see like what makes it stand out. But Kyle Lewis is a really good, uh, promising young player. He kind of had a, a breakout season during the last year, the shortened season, if I remember correct. So uh, here's the next pack. Eddie Alvarez, Kyber Ruiz. Uh, two rookies, a Harrison Bader, Uncommon, Kenta Maeda. Oh, here's a Vlad Jr. Super Rare. Wow, now we're talking. So we got Super Rares in two packs in a row, and that was a less than 1% chance of getting it. This is, uh, what's that, the 35th anniversary flashback card? This one is really nice. Um, of course, Vlad Jr. is uh, a really promising young player as well um, and he has the family pedigree for sure uh, here's another rookie Cody Hewer. so so far uh, we've hit two super rares which is pretty awesome and unexpected I have no idea what these are selling for um, but just in terms of odds that's a couple nice hits there's a Cub, Wilson Contreras. Happy with that. I got Hernandez, Dylan Bundy, Uncommon. Here's a rare Marcelo Azuna. That's a nice looking one. And a bit of flashiness to it. A Monty Harrison rookie, Austin Meadows. So a rare, which was um, 4%. Very nice. Starting to get quite a few hits here. After that first pack was kind of a dud, and, and now it's coming on strong. So, what do we got? Two left. We got an Atlanta Braves common, another Contreras, uh, Yuli Guriel uncommon, Adalberto Mondesi, Brandon Workman, and Justice Sheffield. Okay. Well, here's our last one. Um, overall, this has been pretty decent, pretty decent packs, I would say. Really curious about that uh, Vlad Jr. specifically. Kevin Kiermaier, Luis Castillo, Shane Bieber on common, very nice. Uh, one of the top pitchers in the game. Nelson Cruz, Carlos Correa, and Tyler Chatwood, another Cub. So, yeah, that's, I guess that's it with that. Um... Make sure I didn't have anything else I missed. Nope. So, I'll try out my collection. See, that's another thing, too, with the uh, um, that, that last page, is that we couldn't see what the mint numbers were either. So I'm just going to take a quick peek uh, through here. See if we got any super low mints. Correa, 211. Nelson Cruz is 72. Kiermaier, 185. This Bieber is only of A81. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. I wonder if these are, like, staying at A81. I would assume so, but uh, you never know with these wax products. I, I don't know what to expect. So this was a rare, Marcelo Zuna, out of 402. Here's that Vlad Jr., number 13, out of 170. That's pretty sweet. I would say that's definitely the best hit. Um, probably worth what I paid alone. But let's see. You know, maybe we got a, a number one or something crazy in here. Here's that Kyle Lewis, number 72, of 170. 
Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look and then I'll click on those. And Caleb Smith was 158. Here's a number 10, Oliver Perez. A number 3, wow, Ryan Castellani. That's a rookie too. Let's see, the Ryan Mount Castle is a number 37, very nice. Clayton Kershaw, number 85. Joey Barr was 204. The Yamaguchi was 79. Oliver Perez, uncommon, 36. Apparently, I'm the Oliver Perez whisperer here, getting his low mints. Uh, let's see, Max Stassi. Jacob Junis, number 26. Blake Snell, 96. Yeah. So let's go back to the... Uh, what was it? The Kyle Lewis. I want to see what's unique about this. And that's it. It's just this little glimmer in the corner. You know, for that being a super rare, I would have expected a little more to it. Um, can't even make that bigger in here. Yeah, I was curious about his stats. I used to love just getting these baseball cards when I was a kid and looking at the stats, just like sitting down and pouring over them. Uh, Kyle Lewis, yeah, 1.4 war. 11 home runs last year. So let's see if we can keep it up. That's a, that's a pretty nice hit there. And I'll click on the Vlad, too. Yeah, this one isn't even animated or anything. It's just the uh, flashback design. Still pretty cool, though. I think that one uh, was definitely the best, the best hit out of these. So... Yeah, so that is uh, that is the Topps MLB Wax experience. Um, if you really want to, you can still buy packs of these on the marketplace. Um, I think I mentioned earlier before I started this, these standard packs were selling for at least thirty dollars, uh, originally five dollars, and the premier packs, or premium packs, uh, they were selling for like $330 earlier, uh, and those only cost $100 at retail, so yeah, the markup is insane, um, I think the packs, unopened packs are probably worth more than the cards themselves at this point, unless you do pull something crazy, but um, yeah, for me personally, I like to buy them to just rip them, so uh, that's how I'll be looking at this. So yeah, I guess that's that. Um, I'm going to go through and look at some of these um, after this video, but yeah, let's see what, what happens with, with tops. Um, hopefully they work out the issues that they had today. I have no idea what they're... Um, release schedule is going to be like, but it's nice to have some kind of alternative to Top Shot since that's becoming very difficult to get packs um, and it's kind of slowed down on their end. Top Shot is, you know, of course, by far superior to this kind of product, but this is still fun in its own own right. So. Yeah, that's all for now. Um, let me know if you ended up buying any Tops MLB and if you pulled anything good. Uh, we'd love to see it.